Okay, so let's look at question number six. So this is actually a little bit more of a straightforward problem. It's a bit of a geometry question. So the first thing we need to do is always sketch a picture when we're given something like this. So you're asked to assist with a class who will be selling small boxes of seed mix. So you're given a stack of construction paper that's 15 centimeters by 20. So it's a rectangle, so we can just draw in a rectangular shape. We know one side is 15 and one side is 20. Um, I'm just going to drop the units because it's, it's really not that important for, for us we're, as long as we're consistent. You're going to instruct the class to cut squares from each corner. So the squares from each corner will tell you something. Okay, That means we're going to take out a little box from each source side here. And because they're squares, you know each of the length and the width of that square is going to be the same. Okay, in fact, it's the same for all the sides, right? You can't have the square being different. Now, we're going to fold the sides to create a littlest box which the seeds can be placed in and we're going to have a box where the base of the box is 104 square centimeters. Okay, so I'll just put that in a separate color here. We have a base which is going to be the leftover piece when you cut those corners out and you presumably fold up the sides. Okay, taking out the corner will allow you to fold up the walls, right? And this is going to be 104 as the area. Okay, so that gives us something to work with here. So we know that area is equal to length times width. Okay, now we know that the, we're taking out a square, which means the length that we're taking out is going to be X units but it's going to be X units on both sides. Okay, so what would the length be in this case? So the length would have to be the 20 units minus the 2X because we have X's on both ends. So we take away double that. And the width will be similar measurement. It's going to be the 15 minus 2X. So this is going to give us our quadratic equation. Okay, and from here, you should be able to go forward and solve that. So I'm just going to expand the equation here. Um, so 20 times 15 is, should be, 2 times 15 is 30, 300 uh, minus 40x, 20 times negative 2, um, minus 30x, 2 times 15, plus 4x squared. So that's going to give us our value for, for the area, and we do know that it's equal to 104. So there's our equation. Um, we just need to collect like terms, okay, and, and then solve for x. So I'm just going to do one more step here where we do a little bit of a simplification. So it's going to be minus 70x plus 4x squared. So we could, we might be able to take out a GCF here of maybe two, um, but the numbers are quite large. So we would just gather up terms, make it equal to zero, and then go in and work out the equation, probably using the quadratic formula. Okay, and then the only thing you have to watch is what is X going to be equal to? Remember, you're, you will get two roots. So one of the roots is going to have to be um, a number such that you don't end up getting a negative length or width. So it should be, it'll be a fairly small one. And then the other one may be extraneous, okay? But you'll have to see what happens in that equation. So that's how you get this one started, okay? And then I'm just going to leave that for you to work out the solution. And you should be able to find an answer that's similar to the one given in the key.